Arsenal Fan TV, Claude, um, very, very disappointing from Arsenal today. What can I say? I mean, there's not a lot we can say. We've seen it all before down here. Well, wrong team selection again as well. I mean, Danny Welbeck on the bench. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't understand it. I, don't, I just don't understand why we play it. Uh, why, I mean, I'm not having a go at Will Obi. I, don't, I think he's, you know, he's still very young. But I think we, should, we needed Welbeck out there today, you know what I mean? And, um, and they totally outplayed us. They were, uh, there's, you've got to give them, I mean, they physically stronger than us. I mean, the, the way, the first the way, goal I mean, the way Eden Hazard went through that goal, no one really bothered to uh, make a challenge. No one, I mean, it was Coughlin so easily brushed off the ball. It just went through like, no, you know, just so easily. Mm. There's no heart in the team anymore. It's time, it's time for a change now. I mean, I'm getting fed up. I, I, if he signs, uh, to be honest with you, Roddy, if he signs a two-year contract, my heart's gone. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore, mate. I can't do it anymore. Do I, can't, you think, I, can't, do you... I can't stomach it. I can't stomach him anymore. I mean, I love what he's done for the club, and don't get me wrong, but he's he's gone now. He's everything. I mean, you've got people saying that um, you're anti-Arsenal because you're criticising the manager. All this week, I've had John Cross saying we should we're a cult, just out here to. Mm. But we care, you know. I, I you know how much I, I fucking love the football. You know, you know how much mm. I I give everything. You know, I give uh, every uh, home and away as much as I can. You know what I mean? even though I'm fucking skint, you know what I mean? Mm. And I'm sick of it, I'm sick of it, Rob. I mean, it took, I mean, not being funny, I mean, why did we wait 70 minutes to bring Danny Welbeck on? Yeah, why, why we wait, why can't that, why I'm can't- I'm with you, I think you should have started. Make, I mean, why can't we make these substitutions at half time? You know what I mean, why do we have to wait? We started off quite well, actually, the first mm. 10 minutes, I thought we really pushed them up, you know, I thought, as soon as that goal went in, the whole team just because there's no. Was it a goal for you that first goal? You know, it looked like there could have been a bit of a foul in there. I don't know. It's very hard, but we weren't going to get nothing for that fucking referee anyway. So, but yeah, there's no heart in the team when you go one nil. When you go one nil down, there's no heart in the team. There's no leadership there, and it all boils down to the manager. I mean. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I keep hearing this all week from people like John Cross telling us we should be happy with what we've got. What, but what, you know, what, what more do we want? I mean, is this club just saying, you know, second? Is this club just happy to finish second, third, or fourth? Yeah. Um, then we get told that we, um, the player that they're one of their best players here, Cantor. We could have got him few years ago but we didn't have the money we didn't have the money to buy and we couldn't compete so what what's all this moving to the emirates is about what's it all about do you tell me because i don't know why we moved to the emirates i thought we were supposed to gazidi says well now we're on the level we're on everyone's level we can compete with these clubs right all we get all we're doing is getting their car we're giving them our best players like Ashley Cole and all that, all gone, all gone. Fabrica, all they're all gone. They went up there, and we're getting their cast offs. All we get is their cast off. Check, even check to me. I'm sorry, but check is gone. He's, he seems to have gone to me. He seems to. He don't seem to be a terrible kid. mistake by him today. He don't, yeah, but he's been making mistakes a lot for for a few games now. You know. I mean, I don't know. I, I just. I'm, hey, what, what's I'm, left to play for from now to the end of the season? Well, yeah, pride, but uh, there's the, uh, I suppose everyone's going to say the FA Cup, but I mean, I don't know anymore. I just, I, my heart's not in it anymore. I mean, I mean you come out here and when you get, uh, you, you just haven't got no heart in this uh, to do this anymore. I mean, with a stomach, you, you spend everything you've got, you know. All I want from the team is commitment and get, give a, but, but, we just gave up today. They like, uh, totally fucking overrun us in the end, and it, it just—it's not good enough. Twelve points behind with a squad that I mean, how much do we spend this summer? Ninety million, and we're, we're supposed to improve the squad. And we're twelve points behind in February, in February, and we're told—we're told by people, people like John Cross that we. We should be happy with what we've got. I mean, what's that all about? And we shouldn't have a voice. I mean, I get it on, I get it on social media that I'm anti-Arsenal. 
Do, would you say I don't, I, I don't, would you say I'm anti Arsenal? You're, you're the least anti Arsenal person I know on this planet. You know, right? So I wouldn't I worry care. about that. You, I care. you care, you know. I mean, I, I don't blame the fucking Weber when we lose, do I? <laughs> you know, you know, I care. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I was today. Was hoping oh, a nice clear day. There's no rain. We might win. You know, <laughs> but there's no. But you know. I, I care about it. So does Ty in another way. But uh, we both care. But to say I'm anti Arsenal, it's disgusting. You know, there's people, very people on Twitter saying, I'm, I mean, I'm not anti Arsenal. I love the club. I, I spent every fucking penny of my income to come and, come and watch Let it. Let me just finally ask you one thing, right? So, what, just quickly, just sum it up, what has to change? The manager's got to go. And probably, and to be honest with you, maybe a couple of people on the board need, need to be shaken up. I mean, the manager has to go. I'm sorry to say it. We can't keep a manager on sentimental values. We can't keep a manager because what he's done in the past. You know, I, 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 what he's done in the past has been fantastic. And that's, that's no, but you can't keep a manager just because of what he's done in the past. We've got, we need a change. And if you give him another two years, we're going to have this again, season after season after season. Because it's the same, it's the same old story, season after season. Check out the brand new revolutionary app by Bookie. All you've got to do is swipe along, find your bet and bet on it. Simple as that. I like this one. Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. Arsenal to win. Both teams to score. Eight to one. I'm on that, trust me. So download it right now. The link is in the description and get swiping.